It's definitely enticing to think about turning a spare room into a profitable side gig by listing it on Airbnb and living the high life. But before we go head first into this ostensibly enticing world, let's take a time to consider the unexpected events that have transpired since this concept was first conceived. What started out as an ingenious way to raise extra money has now turned into a real estate craze, with potentially far-reaching consequences. We will examine the intriguing history of Airbnb in this investigation, following the company from its modest origins to its possible role in the impending housing market catastrophe. Get ready for a captivating story with a lot on the line that will definitely be interesting to watch attentively. You definitely won't want to ignore this tale. The Simple Beginning Airbnb changed the way people travel by providing a wide selection of distinctive and reasonably priced lodging options worldwide. The idea was straightforward but revolutionary. Homeowners could let visitors who want a more genuine and customized experience stay in their spare rooms, flats, or even full homes. Travelers might immerse themselves in the local culture and feel at home in a posh villa in Bali or a nice apartment in Paris rather of staying in impersonal and pricey hotels. With just a few clicks, tourists can easily select and reserve their perfect lodging thanks to Airbnb's website, which also makes it simple for homeowners to market their rooms. Travelers were able to take advantage of inexpensive stays in some of the world's most sought-after locations, and homeowners were able to make additional revenue. Ever since its establishment in 2007, Airbnb has experienced rapid growth and has established itself as a household name in the travel business, revolutionizing the way individuals book and enjoy their travels. The rise of a sharing economy Millions of individuals all around the world were drawn to the idea of Airbnb, which sparked their curiosity and helped the site soar in popularity. It soon became into a recognizable emblem of the sharing economy, completely altering people's perceptions about vacation rentals. The chance Airbnb gave users to make money from their extra room was what drew them in. Abandoned flats and extra bedrooms became attractive assets overnight, bringing in additional revenue for both tenants and homeowners. In addition, Airbnb provided a fun opportunity for visitors to fully engage with local customs and traditions. Travelers could now stay in distinctive, private rooms instead of just typical hotels, which allowed them to experience the destinations they were visiting more real. Aware of the enormous growth and economic stimulation potential, communities jumped at the chance to adopt the Airbnb model. They viewed it as a way to increase tourism, bringing in more tourists and money. The increased foot traffic and spending power of Airbnb visitors also helped nearby businesses. All things considered, Airbnb transformed the hospitality sector by igniting a fresh perspective on travel and revealing the unrealized possibilities of shared places. The dark side emerges. The extent of Airbnb's unforeseen repercussions increased in tandem with its growing popularity. Once thriving districts and well-known tourist destinations throughout the world were overrun by an oversupply of Airbnb properties. Although the region may have benefited economically from this, the local housing market became significantly unbalanced as a result. Short-term holiday rentals have replaced long-term rental choices, placing locals who were already struggling with housing affordability into an even more perilous scenario. Residents were under tremendous strain due to the scarcity of accessible and reasonably priced housing, which drove up housing costs and made it more challenging for them to find acceptable living arrangements. The conduct of temporary visitors became a problem in addition to the housing situation. At first, the idea of sharing one's house with strangers was attractive, but it quickly became clear that some visitors did not treat long-term residents with the same decency and respect. As raucous holidaymakers disturbed the quiet of hitherto serene areas, noise complaints increased dramatically. Loud parties that continued into the wee hours of the morning were one type of disruptive conduct, as was disobedience to the laws and ordinances of the community. Locals who loved their town and wished to preserve its identity were alarmed by this rising worry. These unforeseen repercussions highlighted the need for increased control and regulation of the short-term rental industry. Several cities and regions have enacted or suggested tighter rules in recognition of the socioeconomic impact of Airbnb on the availability of homes locally and community dynamics. The platform surely provided travel and economic advantages, but it's important to strike a balance that lets responsible house sharing take precedence over the requirements and welfare of the neighborhood. The Price of Paradise Short-term rentals have contributed significantly to property costs, driving up the cost of once-affordable homes and turning them into an unaffordable luxury for locals. 
Investors hoping to benefit from the lucrative rental sector have been snatching up the limited housing supply as more and more houses are being turned into holiday rentals. Because of this, people who intended to spend their elderly years in familiar surroundings, families looking for a secure place to raise their kids, and even young professionals wishing to settle down in their hometown have all been priced out of their own neighborhoods. For many long-time inhabitants who are trying to locate and afford a place to call home, the idyllic holiday spot that drew tourists from all over the world has become a nightmare. This housing issue has a wide-ranging influence on the general fabric and cohesiveness of these communities in addition to the individuals and families that are directly impacted. Enter the Wall Street Landlords The emergence of Airbnb resulted in a notable transformation in the real estate industry, as a specific cohort of investors, referred to as Wall Street Landlords, seized the profitable prospects it offered. These shrewd people saw the opportunity to make large sums of money, so they started buying homes with the express purpose of turning them into profitable short-term rental enterprises. Consequently, there were far fewer long-term rental possibilities available, which made the already serious housing issue worse. The difficulties faced by people looking for stable and cheap accommodation increased with the entry of Wall Street landlords into the Airbnb industry. The number of residences available for conventional long-terms renting has significantly decreased as a result of desirable properties being quickly snapped up and turned into short-term rentals, making it more and more difficult for people and families to find adequate accommodation. This pattern had a cascading effect, making it harder for those who were already having trouble finding cheap housing as there were fewer long-term rental units available, which inevitably caused rental costs to rise. In addition to having an effect on the availability and cost of long-term rental homes, Wall Street landlords' ascent within the Airbnb business also led to wider inefficiencies in the housing market. This new breed of investor focused on short-term rentals, diverting vital housing resources away from long-term inhabitants in order to meet the ephemeral requirements of visitors and tourists. As a result, once vibrant neighborhoods became nothing more than business districts with a constant influx of visitors, undermining long-term inhabitants' sense of stability and community. In addition, the rise of Wall Street landlords accelerated the gentrification process in several cities, contributing to the housing problem. When these investors poured money into the market, they naturally gravitated toward places where there was a lot of potential for tourism demand, which was usually in districts that were already seeing some gentrification. Following the surge of holiday rentals and visitors, property values increased, pricing out locals and hastening the dislocation of long-standing communities. In the end, the formerly varied and reasonably priced districts evolved into exclusive communities that were only open to affluent investors and well-heeled visitors. The Mortgage Maze An alarmingly high proportion of investors used unscrupulous means to finance their projects during the property market bubble. They had no intention of living in those residences themselves, but they deceitfully secured mortgages that were originally intended for primary inhabitants in a blatant act of dishonesty. This dishonest activity is nothing less than mortgage fraud, a blatant transgression of both the law and ethical standards. These shrewd people damaged the reputation of the housing market and played a role in its final collapse by taking advantage of gaps in the system. Their actions had far-reaching ramifications, hurting the national economy greatly and leaving numerous homes in financial ruin. It is a sobering reminder of how quickly the fundamental underpinnings of our society may be undermined by greed and dishonesty. The Debt Spiral Apart from the original risk, investors accrued additional debt through the acquisition of specialized loans that were primarily dependent on the anticipated revenue generated only from their Airbnb rentals. These loans contain a significant level of risk, much like the previous subprime mortgage catastrophe. The collapse of the entire system might result from devastating effects if the market were to falter. This is a worrying scenario since investors are exposed to severe financial volatility and possible losses due to the excessive reliance on the performance of Airbnb rentals. The comparisons made between these hazardous loans and the subprime mortgage crisis serve as a warning about the possible consequences in the event that this sector experiences another collapse. To lessen the inherent risks connected to such highly leveraged investments, investors must be cautious and think about other options. The looming bubble. Real estate sector experts are warning of a possible Airbnb bubble that might soon burst on the scene. There are several indicators of an imminent explosion that define this troubling circumstance. The unsustainable rental costs that have soared in popular holiday spots are one of the key causes of the bubble. 
Due to the high demand for Airbnb rentals, property owners are taking advantage of this trend by demanding outrageous prices, which makes it more and harder for individuals to afford to rent these houses. The dubious funding of Airbnb rentals is another concerning feature. With the hope that their costs would be paid for by the profitable rental income, many property owners have taken out loans or mortgages to fund their acquisitions. But because this strategy depends so much on a continuously strong market, it is susceptible to unanticipated fluctuations or downturns. These property owners could find it difficult to satisfy their financial commitments in the event of a market collapse or other economic shock, which might lead to a crisis. Furthermore, the likelihood of a bubble bust is increased by the overabundance of short-term rentals in many cities. Due to the market saturation brought about by Airbnb's exponential expansion, hosts are in intense rivalry with one another to get bookings. Due to the overabundance, rental prices have decreased, which has made it extremely harder for property owners to make ends meet. This might lead to some hosts not being able to pay their bills, which would increase the market's vulnerability even further. The effects of a collapse in the Airbnb bubble might be disastrous, perhaps resembling the disastrous 2008 housing crisis. Similar to how the collapse of the housing market at that time led to a major slump in the economy, the blow-up of Airbnb might have far-reaching consequences. The effects might be felt not just in the real estate market, but also in other areas of the economy, causing general financial instability and suffering for both people and companies. Consequently, it is imperative that investors, governments, and stakeholders deal with this problem head-on and take action to avert a possible catastrophe. A glimpse into the future. Once vibrant and vivacious communities have turned barren in this possible future. Numerous apartment complexes and rows of houses are deserted. Their previous tenants have converted their residences into empty Airbnb rentals. Because there are fewer people to support the once thriving local businesses, they are now having difficulty surviving. Because of the unsustainable housing market that Airbnb has created, the basic foundation of community is collapsing. There are fewer and fewer options for long-term rentals as more and more landlords and homeowners decide to offer their homes on Airbnb. The consistency and sense of community that come with long-term community ties have been upset by the frequent arrival and departure of tourists and transient visitors in these once residential regions. Even long-time residents of these areas find it difficult to retain a sense of unity and camaraderie when they are surrounded by strangers. Communities are not just experiencing social problems, but also economic hardship. Because of Airbnb's phenomenal development, many residents can no longer afford to buy or rent a house due to rising property costs. As a result, local companies receive less funding and local citizens either become impoverished or are compelled to relocate. The previously bustling main streets are now home to boarded up stores, and the neighborhood's vitality has vanished. Important concerns concerning the long-term profitability and sustainability of short-term rental platforms are brought up by the fall of the Airbnb bubble. Although these platforms originally offered people a way to make money and visitors a place to stay while traveling, the effects of their widespread use are starting to show. There is a need for cautious regulation and rigorous assessment of the wider social and economic effects these platforms can have on communities, as seen by the prospect of abandoned neighborhoods and failing local businesses in the future. We need to establish a middle ground where ethical and sustainable short-term rentals may exist without undermining the vibrancy and cohesiveness of our neighborhoods as we plan for the future. To create regulations that safeguard the interests of both hosts and residents, local government representatives and legislators must work with online accommodation services like Airbnb. We can lessen the possible negative consequences and guarantee the long-term health and well-being of our communities by enacting laws that restrict the number of homes that may be turned into short-term rentals and by putting in place equitable taxation mechanisms. We can only avert the dismal future that would result from the Airbnb bubble popping with careful and thorough planning. A different perspective. There are some people who have a good opinion of Airbnb despite the issues and complaints that surround it. This group thinks that by giving homeowners a chance to make extra money and by boosting local economies, Airbnb has the ability to positively impact communities. To ensure the platform's long-term viability, these advocates push for ethical behavior and sensible regulation. They contend that, when operated ethically, Airbnb may enable homeowners to enhance their revenue streams and financial standing, 
Airbnb promotes travel by enabling people to rent out their houses frequently for less money than traditional hotels and draws tourists who may not have otherwise thought about visiting a certain location. Local companies profit as a consequence of tourists spending on entertainment, eating, and shopping. This tourist increase has the potential to revitalize areas and strengthen the economy as a whole. In addition, proponents of Airbnb stress the significance of sensible regulation to handle issues like noise complaints and the pressure on housing supply. They recommend putting rules in place to make sure hosts follow specific requirements, keeping the advantages of the platform balanced with the welfare of nearby populations. In the end, proponents of Airbnb as a force for good think that the company can keep helping local economies and homeowners by managing it carefully and ethically. The road ahead. As several parties struggle with the intricacies of its functioning, the future of Airbnb remains unknown. The task of enacting laws to mitigate Airbnb's possible detrimental effects on housing supply and affordability falls mostly on cities. Although Airbnb provides advantages such as additional revenue for hosts and reasonably priced accommodations for guests, there are worries over the reduction of long-term rental properties and the effects on nearby communities. As a result, there are a lot of talks and arguments going on between local government representatives, legislators, and citizens on how to regulate this new kind of housing while yet letting its advantages flourish. In a similar vein, investors are carefully weighing the benefits and drawbacks of Airbnb. The platform presents a novel and possibly profitable investment opportunity, but there are also unknowns related to the constantly changing regulatory environment, possible legal problems, and public opinion of short-term rentals. Before determining whether to put their money in the platform or look for other options where there could be less uncertainty and possibly fewer obstacles to overcome, investors are taking these things into account. On the other hand, vacationers are looking for more unusual experiences and lodging options outside of conventional hotels. These visitors are increasingly choosing Airbnb because it provides a variety of unique houses and allows them to fully immerse themselves in the local areas. But responsible tourists are also aware of how their decisions may affect the places they visit. They take into account things like the cost of housing for locals and the possibility of area gentrification. Travelers are becoming more conscious of their surroundings and supporting projects that put community well-being and sustainability first. Thus, a lot will depend on how these many parties handle the issues and problems related to the platform in the future for Airbnb. In order to maintain a robust housing market and encourage responsible tourism, communities must strike a balance between regulating and upholding Airbnb's benefits. In order to ascertain if the platform will be a profitable investment choice in the long run, investors must carefully weigh the risks and advantages. In order to contribute to a more sustainable and ethical travel business, travelers must continue to value immersive experiences while also thinking about the ethical consequences of their decisions. The choice is ours. The tale of Airbnb is a striking illustration of the possible consequences that disruptive innovation may have. Although it may have sounded like a great idea at first to share living quarters with strangers, this practice has created unanticipated difficulties for housing markets and communities. This cautionary story emphasizes how important it is to follow ethical guidelines as we negotiate the rapidly evolving fields of business and technology. The future of our neighborhoods and the stability of our housing markets will be significantly impacted by the choices we make now. We can work toward a peaceful coexistence between disruptive platforms like Airbnb and the essential requirements of our communities by placing a high priority on ethics, sustainability, and the well-being of our neighborhoods. We can make sure that innovation actually helps every member of society by taking a deliberate and balanced approach. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel, leave a comment below, and share this video with others to spread awareness.